welcome to our build series for our 4 inch scale Burrell DCC road locomotive traction engine kit by Steam Traction World of Daventry, England. This is supplied as a series of 30 fully machined kits to build a fully operational steam traction engine. For this video, we will be showing assembly of the horn plates. This is kit number 9 in the series. Front spectacle plate. Following the usual cleaning process, assembly could begin. It is important that all rivet holes are carefully deburred to allow the rivet heads to fit flush with the plate surface. With this kit, there is not really much that can be assembled. Most fitting and final assembly will come when the plates are fitted to the boiler. The main task involved attaching the rivet details to the horn plates. There are two sizes of rivets, and there are several holes that do not get rivets applied. Take care to follow the instructions and diagrams to identify the correct locations. It is critical that you also correctly identify the outer surfaces and apply the rivets from the outside. If you examine the plates, you will see that the inner surface of each has a recessed rectangular area with holes which will be used for bolts attaching the belly tank attachment plates. The rivets are secured with the Delta 88 high temperature retaining fluid supplied with the front wheel kit. A small amount of adhesive was applied to the underside of the rivet head. The rivet head was then dropped into its hole and twisted slightly to ensure even coverage of the adhesive in the hole. The rear spectacle plate has three bolt details to add. These bolts are cosmetic only and are not used to attach the plate to the boiler as they would on a full size engine. The instructions didn't specify which side the nut should be on, so we made a decision to have the nuts facing the rear of the locomotive. We figured this would be visually more interesting. These bolts are also secured with a little Delta 88 high temperature retaining fluid. Although there are really not many parts to fit, we still loosely bolted the two spectacle plates to the two horn plates. We also checked alignment of the belly tank brackets to their holes, although we did not fasten them to make painting easier. 
The damper lever pin is fitted on the left side in the series of four vertical holes that secure the rear spectacle plate to the left horn plate. It must be fitted in the third hole from the top. Our regular enamel paints were used for painting. We opted for black in the area that will mate to the firebox on the boiler. The remainder of the insides of the plates were painted red and the corresponding outsides were painted burgundy. Striping was done by laying down various widths of pinstriping masking tape and brush painting. Each coat was allowed several days to dry before attempting the next color. Tape should not be allowed to remain for a long time on the parts as it may leave residue or witness marks in the paint. Although the belly tank brackets could have been attached at nearly any time after initial painting, we opted to wait until after the bearing housing kit 10 was also ready for fitting to the horn plates. The belly tank bracket rivet head bolts were secured with the high strength retainer. Once everything was tightened, the excess bolt threads were ground down flush with the nuts. The flywheel brake pivot backing plate and mounting block need to be fitted to match the curvature of our horn plate. Using a square, the parts were carefully assembled, allowing us to view what areas needed to be ground down. The goal is for the backing plate and mounting plate to rest tightly against the horn plate, keeping the shaft perpendicular to the horn plate in all directions. The initial shaping was done with our angle grinder where possible, then followed up with hand files. Many attempts were made removing only a small amount of material at a time. Eventually, we were able to shape the parts so they made almost perfectly to the horn plates. Painting progress on our tender was extremely slow while we worked on other projects. In the meantime, bearing housing kit 10 arrived, and that is the kit we will be discussing next.